Okay, I'm gonna have some fun. We're gonna play with um, alcohol inks on this, but we're gonna do it in a way that is kind of fast. And I would go and put gloves on, but I've already got alcohol link all over my hands. However, I highly recommend doing that because you'll get it all over your hands. <laughs> so don't do as I do, but do as I say. <laughs> yeah, let's just say it squirted the wrong way. I got blue fingers. So what I've done here is I put alcohol all over this and I'm using 91% alcohol. And then I am going to, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I've got a couple of fluorescent colors here. I've got a yellow and a green that are Lumilite products. And if you mix them in with uh, like a couple drops to a bunch of like these little containers here, uh, I fill it up full of about alcohol here and about maybe three or four drops of the Lumilite dyes. But you definitely need to give them a good shake before you use them. And they're kind of fun to play with the fluorescence, I have to admit. So I am literally just putting colors all over the place. And then I think I'm going to put some... I've been playing with this green gold glitter and it's a lot of fun from rainbow and I don't think I'll use the glacier in the middle all right so this is one of those situations where you literally can tilt it kind of like you do when you're pouring and you end up with these really pretty blends. So I definitely recommend using colors that cooperate well, so to speak. Because if you don't, you'll find out real quick, you'll get mud. <laughs> Cart on my extension cord. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hold, please. Okay, we're ready. So I am just getting a base of color down, and if I want to add more later in particular areas, I can. But this allows me to get some really pretty blends started. Like if you want to put some words on the panel, and you know, like my favorite, you know, this is my happy place, you know, your daughter's name on it, um, shoot, even the logo. This is a great way of doing that and adding a bunch of color in there. All right, it's mostly dry, not all the way dry, but what I've got here, and I want to show you how I do this is this is from a project I was working on earlier and these are, uh, I was doing some ornaments and so it was dripping down. And I've got a little bit of a cup here with just a little bit of alcohol in it. And what I can do, let's see if I can leave it here, is literally dip my brush in here, reactivate these inks and paint with them. So I can start bringing in some color into some certain areas in here and really drawing attention to maybe some of the shape. Like so. That can be fun. I 
or if an area here is like maybe too pastel-y and you're not crazy about that, you can continue to bring in color with your brush. You can also dip with your brush directly into the alcohol and just start manipulating and moving it around like so. And start moving colors up and down the design. You'll get areas where it'll get light in the middle, but it'll get dark right along your lines. And so when you pick up your masking fluid, it'll kind of heighten that look. Now I know I'm on the outside of the line there. I'm not too worried about it. You don't have to worry about the ability of being able to paint here because you can just play with the inks and let them do the hard work for you. And I just keep going until I like what I see. And sometimes go into some of these areas and lighten up some of them makes it more interesting. And because I've been working over here, I've got blue on my brush and it kind of brings the blue over and ties all the sides, everything together. I'm not paying attention to what my other hand is doing. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is a little bit more green in here. Really? I just had a fly laying on my painting. You see that little guy right there? He's got some nerves. Good. It's good. Really? Not gonna escape. Excuse me. Gonna get ugly. Alright. Now I'm gonna take a moment to um, have a happy thought about the fly. Or not. <laughs> so, I have horses. And that's something you deal with in the country life. You get flies. Right. Just kind of getting rid of some of these lines I'm not crazy about with the way the color did. Yeah. 
if you notice, I'm not really picking up any color as far as um, going to a palette and picking up new color. This is all colors that um, my brush is picking up from manipulating the inks. And there's just enough alcohol in here to reactivate it a little bit so that I can paint with it. What's really interesting is this rainbow. When uh, I don't know what they put in there as far as the formula, but once it's down on the canvas, it'll stay sparkly in that spot even after it's dried, uh, and you've added ink onto top of onto the top of it. So, all right. So I'm gonna let this dry completely. I'm gonna give it a, um, a spray with my uh, UV sealer, and then I can peel up all my lines. So it'll be pretty. Okay, wait. It's all about humanity. This is how this piece turned out. Why am I on low battery? This is how this piece turned out, and I'm rather happy with it. Looks a whole lot different after you peel off the masking fluid. I can't talk tonight. <laughs> Sorry, guys. A lot of fun. Let's see a little bit of that glitter there. that like button hit the subscribe button definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up check the links in the description below for any supplies I use as well as my Etsy store there you go